A tease. It's a big tease. Something's gonna happen. Nope. Something's gonna happen. Nope. Something's gonna happen. Nope. But I keep expecting they're playing with my expectations. Welcome back to another deep dive with Derek. I'm your host, Derek, but I want you to call me D Rock because my friends call me D Rock and you are my friends. If you're new here, I'd like to personally welcome you to the channel. Uh, I'm checking out music that I should know, but don't. Uh, so that's uh, so kind of taking a deep dive into some catalogs, into some artists that I am not familiar with, but should be familiar with, like Fish. I am a Dave Matthews Band fan. This is a band that I should know well. It seems to me there's a lot of overlap between the two fan bases. Of course, there's Fish fans that don't like Dave, and I'm sure, like me, there's Dave fans that don't un that didn't ever get into Fish. But uh, here I am. And today I'm checking out a song from the album Picture of Nectar. And it looks kind of like a, I don't know, kind of almost looks like a piece of fruit. But it also looks like a face, which is interesting. Anyway, so we're going to check out Tweezer. And then we're going to check out Tweezer Reprise. So without further ado, let's get into um, Tweezer. <laughs> Sounds hip, or like uh, I don't know. It sounds more modern and and like rock than what I'm from, than what I'm used to hearing from them. Step into the freezer and do what with the tweezer? Still didn't catch it. Dancing with the tweezer? That doesn't make sense. It's gonna be cold, 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 cold. It's gonna be cold, 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 cold. It's gonna be cold, 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 cold. It's gonna be cold, 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 cold. I think I'm starting to put my finger on it. It, it. I think it probably sounds more mainstream. It sounds more rock and less jazz than the other stuff. It's hard to articulate, but there's something more familiar about this song than the other songs. Step into the freezer, please her with a tweezer? That would rhyme, and that would be a clever rhyme. And that's also interesting. <laughs> Please with the sweet 
song sounds like David Bowie, not their song, but David Bowie himself, like um, 80s, 80s Bowie. Uh, and then more modern, it kind of also has uh, the same feel as the Meat Bats, Chad Smith's bombastic Meat Bats. Uh, if you don't know them, most people don't know them. Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers has a band with Ed Roth and a couple other guys. And they have this kind of similar feel. But they don't have lyrics, though. So, a little bit of Meat Bats, a little bit of David Bowie. That's what I'm catching so far. drums they're gearing up there's this this fast hi-hat but it builds to nothing and he starts over I, I feel like there's going to be some kind of something coming in <laughs> Sounds like we're getting some key solos before they get into that. As I'm looking more and more at this album cover, it, it's not, but it looks like one of those, you know, illusions where all of a sudden this is going to turn into some 3D thing on me. I hate to cut that off, but I got to point this out while it's happening. Uh, Fishman, right? Yeah, Fishman. Somebody told me that the band was named after him, the drummer. There, I'm going to play this part again because he's got these fills that sound like 
just like he was doing with the hi-hat. It's like a tease. It's a big tease. Something's going to happen. Nope. Something's going to happen. Nope. Something's going to happen. Nope. I'm just doing this for Trey. He's he's rocking this out here. <laughs> but I keep expecting. They're playing with my expectations. Or he is. Fishman is. Okay, so like I said, that that felt more familiar. Um, and if I'm if I got a spectrum of like rock to jazz, I, that's just a made up spectrum. I don't think that's a real spectrum, but you know, more radio friendly, say, and more esoteric. I don't know, whatever. It felt like it was more on the type of song I might hear on the radio than some of the other stuff. Uh, so it just felt really familiar. And Fishman, the, the drums, I think it was the drums. It could have been the bass, the whole rhythm section. I just had a few times, it just felt like they were building up to something, and then it didn't go anywhere. It was so crazy. Uh, all right, so I thought that was good. Some of you have told me, and I'm, I'm going to forget, is it type 1 and type 2, or type A and type B type jams, where uh, I'm probably, I'm for sure getting the, the terminology wrong, but part a say your type a it sounds like the album or it sounds the same every night not the same exactly but it has the similar feel if you came into the middle of that song during that jam you would know what song it was and then there's type b which if you came into the middle of it you wouldn't have any idea because they go everywhere they or anywhere they want to go um so i'm curious what kind of song this one's going to be. The last one I checked out was um, Bathtub Gin. And I, somebody was telling me in the comments that this is totally that type B style where the whole second half of the, the jam, this whole second half of the track was made up on the spot. Had no idea what was what was going on. So anyway, there's a twe tweezer reprise. So we're also going to check out tweezer reprise. So here we go. I'm getting that. Sounds the same, but faster and lower.
that was not a trick. I built that one up and went for it. I like how that resolved back to the, the main bit right at the end. And it looks like this is the last song in the album. That's a cool way to end an album. So that was cool. I mean, that was a good intro into, I mean, if I were to start over with my journey, Tweezer might have been a good first, first one for me because it felt more accessible, perhaps. I don't know. So... It was nice. Eight minutes on the track. Two more minutes on the reprise. I'm curious to check this out. Uh, check out a live version. So, uh, how do you like Tweezer? Uh, is this a song that you look forward to? Have you seen this one before? I don't know yet if this was a, a rarity or one that, that they play often. But I'm looking forward to checking out the live version. Let me know what else I need to check out. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to continue this fish journey that I'm on.